new videos every day. Hello, everybody. I'm Harlan Dietrich, owner of Brave New Books. Uh, we're here at the bookstore uh, just talking, and I wanted to talk a little bit about what is on everybody's mind right now, and that's the economy. Uh, the economy is uh, really in a, in a bad state of affairs, but this is something that has been planned. It has been deliberately demolished. This has been a controlled demolition, if you will, of our economy. Um, this uh, can be traced back all the way back to, to the early part of the 20th century in 1913, when we had the creation of the Federal Reserve System. This is uh, really the third bank, the third central bank in the history of the United States. And to some degree, it has been the most successful. Not that it's been successful for the middle class or for the people of the United States, but it's been successful for the ruling elite, for the big corporate interest, for the big banks. And uh, this is why the system has been in place for so long, because they've been able to use the money that they've generated from the system to take over systems that would be critical in any, uh, in any normal democracy, uh, uh, any, any normal uh, 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 society. They've been able to take over these voices with their money and sort of stifle dissent. And, um, but right now we actually have a resurgence of sort of the classic battle in American history that isn't really talked about, and that is between the people and the financial class. This throughout our history was uh, always present, this uh, interest between uh, the middle class and the, and the people of the United States and the financial class. And if you look at history, this is really what it shows. Uh, um, you know, you can go back even to the Cross of Gold speech by William Jennings Bryan in the late 1800s, where it really sort of hit this pinnacle where there was a populism uh, there uh, centered around our interests versus the financial class's interest. And uh, this, is, uh, this is all throughout our history, but it's not taught in our schools largely. It is uh, very much something that is, uh, that is covered up, and we have to get back to that. And right now, thankfully, through efforts by Ron Paul, by efforts by other people, there is this uh, sense of uh, resurgence in, uh, in criticizing the financial class because they've bankrupted our country right now and they've bankrupted our children's country right now because basically how the Federal Reserve came into being is it was a, uh, a cartel of banks that got together uh, in, a, uh, in a secret meeting in Georgia on a place called Jekyll Island and they drafted uh, the Federal Reserve Act. And then they presented this act to Woodrow Wilson and, and used an actual Austinite, I'm here in Austin, to uh, persuade Woodrow Wilson into uh, signing this act. And uh, his name was Edward Mandel House. And he was a very, very influential figure in the early part of the, the 20th century. Um, and uh, the, the, they, they, uh, they talked about this bill on Christmas Eve. They presented this bill in Congress on Christmas Eve. And um, there was very few members there in Congress to vote on it, but it was passed. Um, and basically, the bill uh, gave the power of uh, these cartels to create fiat money. And fiat money is basically uh, legal, legal tender by decree, meaning that uh, it's decreed to be uh, worth uh, 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 to cover all debts. But it is literally debt. It is a creation of debt. Uh, that's what we can think of money as. It is uh, uh, not worth anything other than a debt, a note on debt. And if you look at your dollar, they used to say silver certificate. This is redeemable for one dollar of silver. They used to say this on your dollar bills. Uh, and now it says this is a note uh, seen as legal tender. So what is a note, right? We all know what notes are, right? They're bills, right? You pay a note on a car, you pay a note on your rent, you pay notes. This is what this is. This is a debt. This is a, this is a sign. This is a, a debt. And, and, and the Federal Reserve System basically creates money out of thin air. through all types of little tricks using uh, short-term interest rates and, and setting bond rates. The, these are tricks done to cr actually create money out of thin air. And um, 
they've been able to basically hijack this country through the uh, through this system because they have basically an unlimited war chest, a a huge treasury out there, uh, and it and it's a it is a uh, it is this this battle that is that is being waged right now against us, um, uh, and you know proponents of the Fed will say, well, you know, the Fed was created to get rid of instability and to keep inflation low. This was sort of the mandates that it was given uh, by the Congress. Uh, but if we look at the pa past hundred years uh, that the Fed has been around, we see incredible instability. We see incredible inflation. Uh, you know, everybody knows that bubble gum used to be a penny and now, you know, it's a dollar. So that right there is a sign of inflation. That's a sign that the Fed has failed its mandate miserably. Uh, there's been huge instabilities. For the, one of the most drastic ones was in 1929 with the, with the Great Depression. That was a, you know, this was uh, 15 years after, uh, or, uh, you know, yeah, 15 years after the Fed was created. And here we have the, one of the greatest economic collapses. We've had economic collapses all throughout the 20th century. So instability is, as, as they have failed that mandate as well. Um, so these systems, unfortunately, have been globalized. So we're in this era of globalization. So the Federal Reserve System has, has essentially been globalized and it's part of the IMF. It's part of this system. And, uh, these, uh, you know, these, these downturns, these economic collapses are now global. And now we, this is what we see. We see, uh, crashes across the world, but, in the eight, in, in the 19th century, these, uh, these economic collapses were actually localized. You know, there was instability, but it was localized. It was banks in certain states that would go down. Um, and this was a much more manageable system. And, uh, we need to sort of look at history, look at the history of money, look at the evolution of money, what it has become when it used to be backed by gold and silver. And now it is a completely worthless fiat currency. And we have to sort of understand this. Um, but the Federal Reserve System basically creates two classes of people. Uh, it creates a financial class of people that can print money at will, basically, and bail themselves out when needed. And then it creates the rest of us that sucks our labor, our sweat equity, our energy, all up into the top. And, it, and this is the greatest pyramid scheme of them all, is the Federal Reserve System. And we have to sort of get our heads around it and understand uh, that we are literally selling ourselves out, selling our children out, selling our country out by continuing this system, the Federal Reserve System, uh, by, the, by the financiers that basically have uh, created this. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.